Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be unto Jesus. Glory be unto Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father God, we praise your name. Oh God, we acknowledge that you are God and that before you there is no other God. Beside you, Lord, there is no other. You are God and God alone. Oh God, we reverence your name today, God. At this moment, God, I pray that you bless your message, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, bless your message, God, and bless everyone who will hear it, God. Let this message fall in a good ground. May somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Take your Bible with me. We want to read some verse, and uh, I would like, I will not be very long today, by the grace of God. If you pray with me, then it will not be long. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15. Uh, I want to read the second, the this, uh, this two ver first verse. More, moreover, brethren, I declare unto thee, unto you, the gospel which I preach unto you which also you have received, and where I am ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. The title of my message is that we need to stand for the gospel. Hallelujah. We need to stand from the gospel. Stand for the gospel. Amen. Amen. And let's go to the book of Second Peter, uh, First Peter, chapter two, verse one. Laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisy and envies and all even evil speakings as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the world that you may grow thereby if so be he have tasted that the Lord is gracious to whom coming as unto a living stone these are law indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Ye also as live as lively stones are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifice acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. May somebody say amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Amen. We need to stand on the gospel. Amen. Hallelujah. I felt in my heart today to preach to you that we need to persevere. We need to go forward in the Christ, in Christ Jesus in our spiritual life. There is no space for a static hope. May somebody say amen. There is no space for a static hope. Amen. You know, either you will go backward or you can go, you have to go forward. Amen. But a stop is not an option. Hallelujah. And we often speak about being Christian. We often speak about want to be Christian or want to live a Christian life. But it's always good to be reminded, brothers and sisters, that there is a gospel. That our faith comes from a roof, had a roof. Hallelujah. Our faith had a foundation, is built on a foundation. Hallelujah. And it's good sometimes to understand because. As I already preached about that this in this this uh, this same place weeks ago, I told you that the devil 
has a, a had a, a great tool that he that he used to to bring us out of the faith and this great tool is distraction so sometimes if we are not careful we will be so busy about all other things even in the church that we will forget what is our roots what is our foundation and we build our faith on the gospel on the good news and I want to remind us today what is that good news hallelujah because sometimes we this condition of life situation can make us forget what is all about what is my my salvation is all about what is my faith is all about hallelujah I'm here I want to tell you first of all what my faith my faith is not all about my faith is not all about things of this world of this earth of this world hallelujah so the foundation of my faith is not all about things of this earth somebody say amen it's very strange but sometimes we forget and we mess our faith about what is our surrounding but it's not the case but again it's not the case my faith is not is not condition of my uh, uh, social situation that what i want to say my faith is not condition of what my desire for the thing of this earth my faith is is condition for something more exceptional something better than all what we see because let me tell you something and that is one of the key points that we need to have in mind we need always to have in mind that everything will pass away amen hallelujah are you getting me everything will pass away amen but all uh, but only his word will remain so whatever you are working for or whatever you are searching for or whatever you are healing for if it's something for this earth he will remain he will remain in this earth you cannot take that for heaven but my the condition the the, the foundation of my faith amen is built on something eternal the foundation of my faith and that is my main motivation amen is what is eternal life that is the great gift that God gave to men is what eternity hallelujah the Bible said that for so God, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son so for whosoever believe will not perish but will have eternal life eternal life is what we are looking for when you wake up in the morning, or the Buddha, or any or, 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 or the brother, these were the sisters. When you wake up in the morning and you say, Wow, I need to work on my salvation. You say, Wow, I need to work on my prayer life. You say, Wow, I need to work on my fast life. Oh, how I need to work on my character. All that have a purpose. And this purpose is eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's good that we, we are conscious we, that we sometimes, we, that's why I like this, this song, I want to go home. Because sometimes we forget where is our home. We are just walking in this earth, we are just passing by because we are not, even Jesus said, I'm not, you know, they asked him, are you the king of Jews? He said, my kingdom is not from this earth. The kingdom, our kingdom where we are called to rule to co-rule with Jesus is not from this earth, amen we need to be conscious of that, amen that there is a better place when somebody said there is a much better place and all what I do in this earth is to prepare myself for that better place amen, hallelujah so don't, don't lose yourself into the pleasure so of this world, don't be so used for the things of this world don't be so attentive of the thing of this world yes we need the thing of this world too we are living in this world so we need certain things from this world but don't let that be your focus and somebody say me don't let those things be your focus amen there is a better there is a better place hallelujah so we need to be to make that to make to, to be sure amen that our the gospel that we are here or the gospel that we are healed of or the gospel that we are looking for or we are 
I, I attach ourselves for is not a gospel of something perishable. Amen. Don't make our Christian life a vain. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't make our belief a vain thing. Amen. Hallelujah. And the next thing I want to approach you today is yes, there, there's, there, 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 there are some situations in our life. There are certain conditions in our life. Sometimes we know we may not understand, but the things may not always go the way we expected it to be. May somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. You know, life is sometimes funny. Amen. Sometimes we expect things, we pray for things, we want things. And they are not they are not they are not they are, they are not coming the way we want it to come, amen. Or they are not coming at the time we want it to come, amen. So make sure, amen, that when when but while waiting or while fighting or while praying, amen, let us make sure that we lay aside all malice, amen, and all those well, no all hypocrisy, amen. Let, let, let us not envies one another, amen. Hallelujah! Don't let us let, uh, let us not curse when the when we are when things are not going on our way. We sometimes we are so easily to curse. Amen. You know the thing is, and that is what is very important for us to understand that God that God has blessed us. So we are blessed. May somebody say, "I'm blessed," and we are blessed not. He said we are blessed in the spirit in higher places, in spiritual. Amen. So we are more blessed than we can imagine. May somebody say I'm blessed than I imagine. Amen. So when things are not going good, amen, the tendency we have is to to speak evil. evil. And somebody say to curse. Is that right? Amen. Sometimes when things are not going the way we want, we want to go, we, we have the facility to be discouraged. And when you get discouraged, you start to curse. Amen. So let, let those things not be a part of our... Amen? amen. Hallelujah. But as newborn babes, let us desire sincere milk. Amen. And this milk is the word of God. Hallelujah. I've noticed that is. It's very difficult sometimes to relay on the on the on the promise. Amen. Whatever happened in my life, let me tell you this: if I have a word of the Lord, if I have a promise of God, what I need to do is to stand on that promise. I need to stand on the promise of God. Because somebody say, I need to stand on the promise of God. And the most difficult thing is that sometimes when we got into situation, we are so distracted that we are don't we don't have the view, we don't have the word, amen. And that is why I, I tell you the only thing that will remain is the word, amen. So we need if you get into difficult situation, never forget that you need the word of the Lord. I need to know what God says in any situation. May somebody say amen. And it's not an easy thing, amen. I I spoke, I preached the whole weeks uh, the, the, since the beginning of the years. I preach about the character. I, I preach about oh, we need we need we need to have we need to grow. We need to, we need to let aside uh, to work on our salvation, to work on our heart, amen. But today I want to focus on one thing, and we need to know. Despite all our imperfection, and I understand, I, I'm the first. I'm the first to raise up my hand if I say, "Who is not perfect in this house?" Amen. Who need grace daily? Amen. Hallelujah. Who need God every every morning, every evening, every night, every time? We all need God. Amen. So there are two things we need to be conscious. I was speaking with a young man today. I said, there's two things we need to be conscious of. We need to be conscious of our, our present situation. It's no need to lie to ourselves. Amen? If you are not yet there, you are not yet there. 
That is a fact. Amen? But the other thing is, we need to understand that God is bringing us somewhere. It is good to understand that we cannot stay where we are. There is no statu quo. There is nothing like, oh, God loved me the way I am. Anyway, God loved me the way I am. But let me tell you, God never accept me the way I am. Hallelujah. So there is a need to be, to be conscious of improvement. I need to improve. Amen. In any single character, any single witness of my, of my life is the way where I need improvement. A daily improvement. May somebody say amen. amen. So we cannot, we cannot say, oh, and, and, and I understand this fact. I mean, there's, I was speaking with my sister last night. We were speaking about what is revival? What is breakthrough? I mean, I, I, my daily prayer to the Lord, I need breakthrough in my life. I need breakthrough in the ministry. I need, we need to be better, brother and sister. We need, I, I, we, I don't know somebody who don't like to, to lead a, a, a church of many people. I, I like, I, 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 you know, that, but the thing is that what is breakthrough? Is breakthrough the fact that everything appears good? That is a thing that we, Sometimes we are we feel good in our life because we, we, we think oh everything is going very well. Is that breakthrough? Hallelujah. So sometimes I ask myself, I say, Wow, God, we need revival in this church. We need this church to be filled. Hallelujah. And I have to remind myself that breakthrough, that revival is is not when many people come in. That's not revival. If revival is that many people get if they, 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 they we we judge revival and the fact that the, the room is, is full, then you will be like, hey, Joel Austin will be in a great revival. Hallelujah. Amen. But revival is not that. Breakthrough is not that, brother and sister. Breakthrough in my life is when things when the witness I identify first. Amen. Secondly, when God is at work, amen? amen, and when I see changes, amen? amen, the breakthrough of this church is when we will get in the point, amen, where we will build the character of Christ. Then we will have the real, the real breakthrough, amen? amen? Hallelujah. Breakthrough for this church will be when every single person will be, oh, the fear of God will raise. Amen? Amen? The breakthrough is that when you will start messing up, amen? The fear, you will have the fear of the Lord. Amen? amen? That is the breakthrough. The breakthrough is that when your, your personal life will start to go, will, will go forward. Amen? amen? Hallelujah. The breakthrough is that when, when we will not be complacent, when we will not uh, please ourselves with mediocrity. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you getting me? Amen. I need to grow. Amen. Breakthrough in when you will see increase in your prayer life. When you will see increase in, in all in, 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 in all the aspects of your spiritual life. When you see increase, when you challenge yourself to be better, then you have you are having your breakthrough. May somebody say amen. I pray God that you help me. Hallelujah. To on to look. To, to enlighten my life so that I can see the place or I can see the witnesses. I mean, I was saying, you know, when you see David, when you consider the life of David, and we like to consider the life of David, we like, we like to look at King David and his life. But let me tell you something. When you look deeply in the life of David, then you will learn about breakthrough. Hallelujah. Then you will learn about revival. Because when David started, he didn't, he didn't start with a crowd. He started alone. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible said that he was in the mountain. Amen. Alone, taking care of the sheep of his father. Hallelujah. And he was he will he will go through some adversity. He will get he will, he, he will he will go through some dangers. But he was alone walking. Amen. And he had his breakthrough in that place. 
and when God called, when his father called him, and then he would go in front of people, then he was already in the revival. But people were in mass. There were many people that were standing in the battlefield, but none of them had breakthrough. Hallelujah. How do you know that, Buddha? No, none of them. They were an army, but none of them had breakthrough. But he was alone. He was in on, on his plate, working on his character. Hallelujah. Pushing fear. Hallelujah. Amen. And when he will get in the battlefield, how do you know that he has his breakthrough? When everybody will have fear, when everybody will tremble before that giant, he will say, he will look at the giant like this. He will say, hmm, there's something in me who is greater and that I, I can show up. Amen. So the secret, the walking in the secret place, the walking, taking time to work on your own character is a virtue, brother and sister. Sometimes we, we take that for, for granted. We don't like when somebody come and say, oh, this thing is not good in my character. I, we don't like to take reproach. But you will grow through reproach when somebody say amen. You will grow through reproach. You will grow through, through your imperfection. You will go through your perfection. May somebody say amen. I was wondering myself, why? Why God, when you, you say that when somebody is a new creature, all things have passed away, Everybody, everything has become new when I'm a new creature. But what, how come that I have witnesses in my life? Hallelujah. God look at me and say, hey, because you need to grow. Hallelujah. You need to grow. Amen. May somebody say, I need to grow. And the second part I want to touch today is what will make you grow? First, you know your weaknesses. You know, your, you know also the point where you are improving. You know your good point, but you know also your weak point. That is a very important. Identify. Amen? Because the, 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 the main thing is that there is no way that a Christian will stay in a statu quo. Hallelujah. And somebody say amen. There's no way to stay. Oh, my life is so good the way it is. So let us build three tabernacles here. Amen. Oh, I'm, I'm, I feel too comfortable in this place. Uh, we don't need to change anything. Amen. There are people they feel too comfortable, too comfortable in this place that so that they don't they don't they don't need somebody next to them. Amen. I'm telling you, we need to go outside and bring the gospel to people. May somebody say amen. There's no way to start to call in my life. May somebody say, there's no way, there, there's no room for start to call. I need to go forward. I need to go forward with the Lord. One thing we need to understand, I already said this, you need to identify your, your weaknesses. You need to identify your, the point where you say, okay, I'm good at this point. But the other thing is, you need to understand how deep or how 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 powerful God can help you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to tell you today, no matter what your weakness are, God can bring you out of that. Amen. And sometimes it's good to know how deep you are down. So that God and you understand the greatness of God of the world. For the Lord is my shepherd. Hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd and I will not want. What does that mean? The Lord is my shepherd. When you, when, when you call, I already preached on that in Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. When you identify the weakness of your life, you need to understand that in your weakness, the Lord is still your shepherd. Hallelujah. And in the thing that you are lacking, God will glorify himself in the fact that he will make you, he will fill that gap. It's always that why I always say to say to people, you know, to need to you need to understand where you are 
And you need also at the same time to understand where God expects you to be. Hallelujah. And this gap, the Lord is your shepherd. Hallelujah. Because he will fill this gap if you trust him enough. May somebody say amen. So he is your shepherd, brother and sister, and you will not like. Hallelujah. There is one thing we also need to understand. And I, I always tell this to people. The more you grow spiritually, the more you grow spiritually, the more you understand what green pasture means. The more you grow spiritually, the more you walk in the great pasture, in the green pasture. Why? Because the more I'm, the more you are, the more you grow spiritually, the more the consciousness of the of the green pasture is clear is clear to you. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. A child of God is walking in victory. Hallelujah. If you are a child of God, you are walking, you are laying in a great pasture. But the thing is that you don't know. You are not aware of it. You are not aware of that you are walking in victory. Are you getting me? Amen? When you are spiritual, when you are spiritual when you are strong spiritually and when things are not going the way they are expecting in your life what are you saying? you stand on the faith of you, you stand on your faith amen you continue to walk for you you, you you continue to walk forward amen you expecting great things to happen amen you hope on good things amen then you have faith amen and as as far as long as I'm have, I'm walking in faith amen my enemy is defeated. So if my enemy is defeated, so I'm walking in what? In victory, in great, in great passion. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. What happened? I, I took the example of David. And I would, uh, let us stay by David. When he came in the battlefield, what happened? You have two kinds of people. Do you have a great army? Great army, great army. They were very structured. You know, sometimes in our mind we are very structured. I mean, when you when when we use our common our sense, I mean our in our how do you say that in English is healthy? Our intelligence. I mean, our mind. I mean, everything they, they the people of Israel they prepare, they knew they have the technique of button, they knew they know, oh, you know, it's like I expect this thing to happen in my life and I need to be prepared. Amen. I need to prepare. I need to be prepared. So I, I make my plans. I make my I make every plan. Amen. So they were very structured. Prepare for the battlefield. For the battle. So they were in the battlefield. And then come. The, the giant, how do you call him again? Goliath came. When Goliath came, so all their preparation were there. What? Fear raised, erased all the good preparation they had. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are not spiritual, when you are not spiritual, strong. No matter the plan you make, when the storm come, what happened? You forgot all the preparation you made and you get in fear models. Are you getting what I'm saying? But when you are spiritually prepared, David, Simon David, he came in the battlefield, he didn't, he didn't even know what happened in the battlefield. But one thing he knew, I'm spiritually strong. Hallelujah. I know who I am. I know my position. I'm this child of the living God. So when he got in the battlefield, he saw people walking in fear. Amen. In chaos. And he asked them what happened. Hallelujah. They explained to him. You know the next question he asked? If somebody destroyed this, this man, 
what would be his reward? He was, he was not impressed on the, on, the, on the adversity. He was most impressed on what? On the reward. Why? He was spiritually strong. Are you getting me? Are you getting where I'm going through? And which direction I'm going? If you are focused, if you are spiritual, if you are spiritual strong, you will not focus on the problem. You will not focus on the adversity. But you will focus on the reward. Hallelujah. It was not like, oh, hey, hey, the storm will go from himself. Uh, the Goliath will, will, will be defeated without fighting. He knew to defeat Goliath, you need to go to a fight anyway. But he knew, oh, my faith is strong enough. I know what is waiting for me after this. Amen? So it's very important to understand that the statu quo is not possible. Hallelujah. Amen? <laughs> so I want to encourage you today. No matter what you're going through or you may think you're going through, no matter when which come and the devil have brought you through or you have brought yourself to, I'm here to tell you there's no tattoo core. I mean, if you started in belief, you need to believe and continue in belief. You need to you need a word of the Lord because what? You need to remain in what? In the good pasture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you may look at your life, Pastor, you don't understand. Amen. You don't understand what happened to me. Uh, I'm about to lose things. I, I, I'm waiting for this for all time. I'm, I don't know. You know, we all have problems. If I look, if I ask everybody, hey, who don't have problem in this room? Who don't have a great challenge? You know, there are people that will say, oh, by faith, my life is very good. Everything is good. But if your life is good, that might be what? The quiet before the storm. Because the life of every every good man, either you're Christian or not, is hey, you will face challenges. Hallelujah. But the thing is, are we ready when we get into that challenge? For a child of God, there is a no study code. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you also one another point. And he said in verse 3, he said, I will, not, I will not break down all. But he said, he restored my soul. He led me in the, in the path of righteousness of his name. Say, he restored my soul. If somebody say, you restore my soul, that means that my soul was first what? Broken. My soul had problem. Hallelujah. But he, what? He restored my soul. Hallelujah. So there are some people that think that they think, oh, it's good. Uh, it, oh, not, uh, I, 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 I want to speak for myself. I mean, I like to speak of myself because I'm not, when I speak of, if I, when I speak of people, it's not good. Amen. So I, <laughs> it's good to speak of myself. Amen. Amen. I want to tell you something. Sometimes I look myself in the mirror and I say to myself, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I have so many things. I, I know that God is expecting me here, but I'm still here. I need, I need the grace of God. But one other thing I know is even in my weakness, God will not wait that I get here until the challenge comes. Oh, Hallelujah. God will not wait until I prepare. You know, we, we, we like to use that. God will not give you a, a child that you cannot bear, carry. Amen. So if God, you know, sometimes God will, yes, God will not give you a child that you cannot bear, that you cannot carry. But because God is saying, okay, the charge I will give you, you can carry, but you can also carry if you are here, if you have some training. But if you don't have some training, you will remain here, but you will still have a charge on you. Hallelujah. But one thing I want to tell you is, even 
if you are weak and you get into a great trouble, God can still and will still, if you allow him, he can restore your soul. And he will bring you to righteousness. Hallelujah. But the thing is, because we are not, we are not always, always, always happy. We are not happy to take some reproach. We say, oh, I like to see, you know, it's like people, I like to see the sun side. I never like, I don't like to see the gray, the gray side. I just want to see the sun side. Huh? Who is like that? You don't understand? There are people in life that only like to see the sunny side of the world, of the life. The, the sunny side of themselves. Are you getting me? Huh? Are you getting me? No. Let me repeat it. Breaking down. We have time, amen? If I, if I preach 50 more minutes, I will be under my time. The, 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 uh, the mentality of the human being. We always like to see what we do good or what we are able to do good. We always like when people give us compliments or when people praise us. Amen? But we, it's never good to see the gray side. It's never good to, 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 to bring the side that we don't know. Amen? That we don't like. Amen? If, are you ever noticed that? Simple things. Perhaps it's good to speak about people who have that experience. For example, a couple. Couples. I like couples because I want everybody here to get married. My wife used to say that, but herself, you like you like marriages. Yes, I like marriage. I want to see everybody be, be married. Amen. I pray for that. But have you ever noticed people who are yet married when you when you started arguing, when you started I don't speak for because there are some couples that never have problems. They never discuss. They never argue. Perfect. Amen. I, I don't speak of that people. They are they are so holy. They are only waiting that Jesus come back. So I want to, I speak of, about people who, who still say, hey, God, wait a little bit. We need we need to work on certain things. Are you even see when you argue with your with your partner? Huh? I I hope you are not that ki kind of couple that everything is always good. You just wait that Jesus come and take you. No, there are there are some days we need to discuss, amen. And are you ever are, where are you ever are you ever been in a discussion with your wife or in your couple when but the but the but the right said, you know, you do this, 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 and then you start. You say, no, you I don't do, I don't do it. And then you discuss, you discuss, you discuss about thirty minutes. Until you have the impression that the roof will go down. At the end, when you are, when you are out of your argumentation, you say, "Do you do you know something that I do good in this house?" Who know that? I mean, so when you, when you cannot when you take you take that. Do you know? Do you know only one thing? I am good in. Do you know one thing that I'm good of? Huh? That's, that, I think that is, uh, that is the reflex we have sometimes, right? Or no? Sister Elvi? Uh -huh. The thing is, <laughs> the ability, the thing is that what we do is, oh, I don't want, I don't want you to focus on the thing that I do bad. I just want you to focus on the thing that I do good. I want you to balance the thing that I do bad with the thing that I do good. That's, that's sometimes what comes out in our mind. We want that balance so that you can see a, 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 a better picture, right? Huh? But the thing is, the thing is, what you do good 
is something that you have in you. It's good. But the thing that you don't do good is good that you also bring that on the thing that you do good. Are you getting me? So that the thing that you do good will be more bad. Sometimes when somebody, when God reproach or when God show us the things that are not good, is what? It's because He loves us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He loves us and He wants us to be what? Better. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, He has to go by why? Because God is perfect. I understand that in the couple is sometimes difficult because both of us we are not perfect. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is why sometimes good when you focus on the bad things in the in the in the marriage for the other on the partner. You need also to look the mirror on that side. Amen. Amen. So the the, the 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 right balance will be there. So what I want to tell you, brother and sister, is sometimes it's not bad. Amen. To know our weakness. Amen. Even when you go to a job, you apply for a job, you make the best, uh, what do you say, application you want, you show them uh, your CV. And then they also say, I did it, I did that, I did you. They, they go through your all CV. But at the end, are you never ever noticed when you go to an application, they say, eh, we call it in French incontournable. That is a question that they will always ask you. So if in any job offer you go interview you go, you will always face that question. Tell me your strength and tell me your weakness. Hallelujah. And some pe sometimes people they fall on the weakness because <laughs> there are people they will say I don't have I don't see any weakness in me. If you say if you tell if you say that to some if I want to employ you and I ask you of your weakness and you say you don't see any weaknesses, I would not I would not hire you because I know you're a danger, not only for yourself but for your whole group, right? Oh, that's true. <laughs> Amen. Yes. It's the same, brother and sister. People, see, if somebody don't, if as if somebody is always good, never bad, never do wrong, it's a danger. If you are in a household in a, with that person, you need to be to, to fear the person. Amen. Amen. Ah, he can burn you in the night. Amen. That's true. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just to say one, brother and sister, just to tell you that yes, we have weaknesses. And we, I'm not ashamed on my weaknesses. Amen? Amen? I don't like them. Amen? I don't like my weaknesses. But the thing is, I don't ashamed. I, I respect them. I, I respect my weaknesses. I respect them because perhaps I'm, I, I, I have those weaknesses to, to be in my life. But the thing is, I hate them. I hate them. And we all need to hate our weaknesses. Hallelujah. Because if you love them, you are a dead man. Hallelujah. Amen. And how do you know that you love? You know, you love. You say, oh, you know, uh, you like, you like, you love lying. No, no, it's not really lying. I'm not. I'm just not telling the truth. It's different. <laughs> Have you ever heard that recommendation? Huh? I just not tell you all the truth, but I'm not lying. Amen. Oh, you are a thief. Ah, no, 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 no. I, 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 it was not my intention. I didn't thief. I, I didn't steal. I just take it, I will give, I will bring back some things. Mm -hmm. There was nobody that I can ask to. That's why I took. The, you know, you that, that you, you you are falling in love with your weaknesses. Amen? The thing is that 
you need to hate them. Amen? We need to hate our weaknesses. Amen? Because when you hate your weaknesses, when you hate, hate something, then you denounce it. Then you then you, you speak it out. Amen? Hallelujah. And when you speak it out, amen, then you call on God to, to do what? To, to help you to work on that. Amen? Because we... <laughs> And I will. I think I will, I'm, 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 I'm about to close, but I want to tell, to tell you this. And please be careful on what I'm saying. I like prayer. I like fasting. But prayer in love, prayer alone, fasting alone, will not free us from our weakness. Huh? It's hard to hear that. Praying is the easy thing. But it will not help me help a lot if we don't mix that with action. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I want to take one example. If, I, if you know that you are liars, then you used to lie. Going and praying and fast, God deliver me of lying will not help me. Enough. Alone will not help me. First, I need to understand. I need to integrate them in my conscience. Hey, um, I used to lie. I have the, a, a capability, the ability to lie very easily. So, the consequence is, I'm a liar. It's good to integrate that. You are a liar. If you don't say the truth, you are a liar. First, secondly, you need to understand that the Bible says that the liar will not inherit the kingdom. Oh, he said, then you know I'm in a big trouble if I want to go to heaven. Hallelujah. And the second thing, you need, the third thing you need to integrate is, hey, but I can get out of this. Hallelujah. God can help me. And then, you go to pray, you know, then you pray. First of all, you you put, you speak it up. You repent on that. Then because if I know that I'm a liar, then I need to repent of lying. And the thing is, I need to start doing telling the truth. Hallelujah. I need to produce the fruit of repentance. Are you getting me? There are people they think, oh, once I've repented for my sin, is good. God has already forgiven me. Yes, God has forgiven you, but you need to be delivered. And to be delivered of that sin, you need to ask to produce the fruit of repentance. Hallelujah. So, you need to start telling the truth. So, if I say something and it was, a, it was not right, then I have to correct it. Hallelujah. If I say, oh, uh, uh, but I smile. You know, yesterday I was I, I went to a football a, 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 foot, a football game, and I realized no, it was I was not in a football game. I was with my with, with my with my wife and my children. I don't know where in the in the huh? in Zach Miller eating. So, I, I need to call again, but I, but I smile. Sorry, I told you yesterday that I told you that I was in football game. Actually, it was not true. I was eating. You may judge that is why I'm deep, but I'm fat, but I was eating. Amen? So he will not kill me. He will not kill me. Hallelujah. But you know what? I'm training myself. Amen? I'm putting the devil into shame. Amen? That's why. That, that, that's the only thing. The only thing to get out of a weakness is to expose that weakness and start to do the contrary. May somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. I want to tell somebody today something. There's no fatality. There's nothing like, oh, 
you you are marked. Or the, uh, the only person I know in the Bible who was marked, it was who? Who can help me? Who was marked? No, Judah was not marked. Cain was mad. Cain was mad because I've never read in the Bible where Cain repented. Hallelujah. The only thing that Cain wanted, he didn't want to die. He was mad. Hallelujah. But we need to understand that we have a weapon. That is our key of survive. It's repentance. Hallelujah. You are surviving jacket. It's repentance. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says that it's good and right and righteous. Amen. To forgive us. Amen. And to pull all iniquity. To erase, erase all iniquity. So we have you can stay praying. It's good. Let her pray. Hallelujah. The goodness of the Lord leads us into repentance. May somebody say amen. Hallelujah. We need to learn how to use that tool. There's something great in repentance. You know some, what is great about repentance for the Glen? The devil doesn't know how to repent. And that's what makes us better than him. We need to learn how to repent. Amen? Hallelujah. May somebody say to himself, there's no tattoo code. Hallelujah. We need to learn how to obey the word of God, I say already. Hallelujah. And all start to repentance. The Bible says, don't have a high opinion on yourself. You will always humble yourself when you go through repentance. May somebody say amen. There's no need to show everybody that you are what you are. But repentance will bring you more greater, more better places. I want to open the altar call today. We cannot hide ourselves before God. Uh, you know, I already give up on impressing people. Hallelujah. The only thing I need, I understood, in repentance, in repentance, people like we like to go with our need to God, but I my prayer is that when you go to your knee, the first thing that comes, Oh God, I'm sorry for the things that I made. Oh Jesus, I'm sorry for the things that I was supposed to do at this time, but I didn't do because God, I was so distracted. God, I pray for forgiveness. Hallelujah. God, I look in my life, God. I know where you're waiting, where, where you expect me to be in my prayer life. In my holy, my holiness with you. My daily life in Christ. God, I know where you expect me. But God, I'm not yet there. Oh God, have mercy. Have mercy. Oh God, there are things that I'm not supposed to do. But I, I find myself keep doing the same thing. Have mercy. Have mercy on me, Jesus. Have mercy. Oh, have mercy, Lord. Forgive me. 
God cleanse me. Wash me, God. Make him my me white and snow, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. God, I'm wondering, God, why I don't have the joy of my salvation. God, I need the joy of my salvation, God. God, I pray. God, here I am before you today, God. I'm naked before you. I cannot hide myself before you, Lord Jesus. You know my heart. God, I pray that you help me today. Rakondo riyaraba shata riyala bo shata riyala ba kianda. Yes, brother and sister. Can we call on Jesus today? He's our shepherd. He's our shepherd. Rakondo riyala bo shata riyala ba. God, take my prayers away, Lord. But show me your glory. God, I know I do. I can do better. I know I can be better. But God, I need you today. I need you more than yesterday, God. God, I cannot do it by myself, God. That why I need you? Is that your prayer today? You need him. God, I need you. God, I want to go to another level. With you, God, I want to go to another dimension with you. God, I want you to be the center of my life. God, I want you to be the center of my marriage. I want you to be the center in my workplace. I want you to be the center of everything that I do. God, I want you to be the center. God, be the center, God. God, I know what I when I look deep in me, God, I cannot freely rejoice. There's, there's, there's that thing, God, that, that, that darkness in me will stop me. But God, I pray that you deliver me, God. God, give me that joy. Give me that joy, Lord Jesus. God, free me from the carnal mentality. Renew. God, create me, Lord, a new, a new heart, an all right spirit. Oh, Jesus. Hey, hey. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. God, I'm tired to fight. The wrong fight. God, I'm tired. I'm tired, God, for the start of code. God, I want to move forward. God, I want the breakthrough in my life. God, I want the breakthrough in my family. God, I want the breakthrough, God. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. God, I want to give you the praise. God, I want to give you the honor. For who you are, God. God, you say, and it's a promise that you will never let us alone. God, you will bring us. You will be with us until the end. God, I know that you are with me, God. But God, help me to use the advantage that you are with me, God, to rely on you, to put my trust on you. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. God, I know that my life will be overshadowed, may be overshadowed with darkness. But God, I understand because it's your word that weeping me endure the whole night. I might be in the night today, God, but I know, Lord Jesus, that joy come in the morning, God. God, I pray, Lord Jesus, God, I give you the praise, God. I might be in the night, God, but I already give you the praise for the morning, God. I only rejoice, God, because I'm by your shutter, because God, I know that mm, hallelujah hallelujah that joy that my morning is about to come in the, in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah God I refuse to use to get used to darkness I refuse no matter the circumstances God God I refuse to get used to mediocrity no matter the circumstances, God, I'm looking forward for the morning. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward, Lord, to the morning in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you today, no matter what the devil will try to tell you who you are, let me tell you what God says. You are more than conqueror. Hallelujah. What God, what you may look today, perhaps it's not things are not going the way you want it, but I'm I'm telling you, brother and sister, you need to be focused on the good. May somebody say amen. Let us give God a great head clap and offering today. Look your neighbor, tell your neighbor the best is still to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I expect the day in my life. I expect the morning in my life. May that be your, your witness. May that be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. The best is still to come. Amen. Hallelujah. Never and don't give up. Amen. Don't give up until God say it's finished. May somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Let us wave our hand to the Lord one more time. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we give you the praise. We give you the honor this morning, God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you bless each and every one of us this morning here at this place. God, I pray, Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, that your blessing, God, will be our portion, God. But when whatever happened, God, I pray, God, that we keep the unity in the faith. May somebody say amen. Hallelujah. God, bless the fellowship, God. Bless the food, God. I bless, uh, bless everyone, God. That as, as we are going back at home, God, let us not go back from your presence. Let, let, let us not get away of your presence. Hallelujah. May somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Get somebody. Amen.